Let's begin by looking for some patterns when we're dividing by multiples of 10. Our first problem is done for us. 540 divided by 9 is 60. 540 divided by 90 is 6. What is different about 60 and 6? Exactly! 60 just has one more zero than 6, and 90 has one more zero than 9. Let's look for a pattern to continue. Go ahead and do 720 divided by 9 on your paper. Excellent! You've arrived at 80. Go ahead and do 720 divided by 90 on your paper. Wonderful! You have 8 as well. What do you notice about the pattern? 80 has one more zero than 8. Let's do the last one together. 810 divided by 9. Do your work and then see if you've arrived at 90 as well. Now, without doing your division, what do you think 810 divided by 90 will be? Exactly! 9! We are just getting rid of the zero because we're dividing with a zero in 90. Now, let's use the break apart method to divide by a number that has a factor of 10. Here we see that 30 has been split into 3 and 10. 3 times 10 is 30. 60 can easily be divided by 10 since they both have zeros. 60 divided by 10 is 6. 6 divided by 3 is 2. See how much easier that was than long division? Let's try another division problem using the break apart method. 420 divided by 70. We are going to break apart 70 since it is the two digit divisor. 70 breaks into 10 and 7 because 7 times 10 equals 70. 420 divided by 10 is quite easy. Since 10 starts with a 1, we know that anything divided by 1 is itself. We can go ahead and cross out the zeros as we have learned in our pattern of zeros method yesterday and we end up with the answer of 42. 42 divided by 7 equals 6.